Terrible sight in the alternate reality you don't want to see. Scorpion's already a Spider-Man tier. It seems like with the Venom symbiote, he would jump past the Spider-Man tier if we're being honest, logically speaking. But, you know, these type of things don't last forever or last long. And you guys guessed it. He has got involved with the symbiote and became Venom, Matt Gargan himself. He posed as Spider-Man. He's been with the Thunderbolts at one point. There was even a point he got the symbiote reactivated, lost it, got it reactivated in him. And it kind of had an effect to him. I was always wondering what would happen if I did my little spit take on somebody who already had a symbiote in him. Let's find out. Spreading symbiotic, yeah, all these symbiotic beings in this comic, of course. Then he became this scary looking scorpion venom hybrid thingy. <laughs> like, whoa. Along with these other symbiotic beings. The symbiote literally took it upon himself to find Matt Garg. I mean, he was about to put on the scorpion suit. And that's when it took over. And that's how that happened. I've already made venom videos about Eddie Brock in the past. So whatever he can do physically, logically, it should kind of transfer over. Being a spider to your character being able to lift over hundreds of tons being able to move way faster than bullets or even dodging or having faster than lightning levels of combat or fighting speed space fan posing as spider-man he just likes playing boss and impaled him here notice how he's in the symbiote form he still does scorpion like stuff like using the scorpion tail still he's good at distracting spider-man by bringing up the feelings of miss marvel how she had a crush on spider-man this occasion with spider-man matt gargan venom can do this to a whole bunch of debris and he likes to eat civilian but psych this turned out to be a bluff though to draw out the scrolls he literally states it's an act he ain't gonna just kill he didn't kill anybody one can say symbiote beings have this stretching ability to make their limbs bigger one can say the stretch or give themselves an advantage on the battlefield he did make some gooey symbiote to choke tiger shark here he made his arm wrap around anti-venom here literally strong enough to rip off someone's arm eats it so precisely that the armor he spits out is fleshless he can make sharp blades erupt out of his body, make omnidirectional attack, spiky hand. He forced shield shoulders to kill each other with his symbiote ability. He can mask heat signatures, sneak up on you, has his own weapon, call her the bootleg scorpion, gives himself a second mouth, can wrap you up. He impales several scrolls just by extending his fingers or growing them. His tongue alone is strong enough to throw grown behind men like Bullseye, and it can even stretch. He even got this hulked out mode where he gets big and massive looking. This guy threw corn dogs that killed normal humans. They don't kill Venom though. Freaking Bullseye can throw corn dogs and kill folks. Are you kidding me? He's fought a lot of beings, even with still being punched through several metal floors by scrolls, and he's good. Durability. He's in a swarm of bees, and he's good. Instead, you can't sting him through that symbiote. He regenerates his tongue pretty quickly, gets ripped. Yike, and it seems to be here. Another occasion fighting Spider-Man, matching strength with Spider-Man. Spider-Woman did a venom blast in his mouth, and does it seem to be too hurt? And by the way, gunfire ain't gonna cut it. The new Scorpion trying to fight Venom, Matt Gargan. He's literally chilling with a dog in his eye, and it's literally just an inconvenience, thanks to Bullseye putting it there in the first place. This being known as American Eagle, he endured punches from beings that can cause this much power to the ground. Seems a little sleepy though, but gets back up. He even got kind of overpowered by Hercules here, which is okay because Hercules is a god of strength level character. Then he gets slammed to by Sentry, but he still manages to keep his grip on Hercules after all of this mess. Body can withstand going through building. Good healing factor gets stabbed in the chest by the sword. He gets up angrier than before. Even Colossus punched him. He got back up. He hurt though. Multiple punches and kicks from Spider-Man. He, of course, can slug it out with Spider-Man and contestually fight back. This, he was getting whipped by Medusa's hair, getting hit by sonic attacks. He was still able to kind of push through the pain and fight back. As you can see here, Slugfest with Spider-Man yet again. Recovers from his back being slashed open. Will stands being speared or tackled by Hippo. Speaking of strength, Matt Garg and Venom punched his scroll, making him sleepy. Start off the eating Atlantean with little trouble. Destroys a whole bunch of low-tier Asgardians left and right. But these are Asgardians. They're like gods or something. I didn't really pay attention to the mission briefing. He can crush cars with his strength just by landing on it. He bit off Hippo's leg. His strikes can can just demolish cars. This is a respectable feat, considering how strong Colossus is, having a hard time holding him back to some degree. He can pick up Hippo, by the way. I showed this scan of him getting tackled earlier. Don't forget that Hippopotamus is gonna weigh like a ton, or half a ton. He beats up Dakin and Bullseye. Spider tier kid is like Spider Woman. He has no problem slamming down in a contest of strength. She seems like she can't just seemingly break out of his hold with ease. Putting her against the wall. Knocks Bucky over. Obviously, he can lift cars in this scuffle with Anti-Venom. Manages to throw a car at Anti-Venom strength-wise. Beings that have super strength doesn't necessarily mean you have Venom tier super strength. Like, characters like Jack Flag can't get out of Venom's grip. Notice his strength here on how he pins Spider-Man down here for a second. Wrestling with Spider-Man. See their arms locked with one another. Strength. 
But he did get punched off though. It's the cages of the match and strength with Spidey. His claws can easily pierce metal. Fought these shadow constructs and he was able to rip through them. Booyah. This massive hulking state. Look what he does the concrete. Say bye bye to your helmet. Bursts through this metal door. And crushes concrete with his landing. How does this work? He rips through the Quinjet, right? And started eating through Songbird's sonic bubble. It's evident that his speed is competent because he's always able to tag Spider-Man characters despite Spider-Man have ridiculous fighting speed. Space Phantom, a being that copied the speed and strength of Spider-Man, it stated, never seen anyone, anybody move like Spider-Man, but Venom comes close, letting you know the right intent there. Even though this isn't the real Spider-Man, this fake Spider-Man, Space Phantom, copied the stats of the real Spider-Man, you know? And thanks a lot to everybody that has donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot.